Hello, my name is Michelle, and this is Full Bottle Worthy. Today I'm going to be discussing fragrances with the note of tea. We're going to have some fragrances with matcha, mate, oolong, green, black, as well as just the general tea note. So if that sounds good to you, please stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The way that I've organized these fragrances are from lightest wearing to deepest wearing. So the first one I have here is Teo Cabanel's Je Ne Sais Quoi. It is a gorgeous light wearing tea fragrance. It has the notes of matcha tea as well as mate as well as rice. And rice here really smells like a puffed rice to me. And the matcha and the mate are not overpowering or overbearing in this composition. It's definitely a light wearing fragrance. I like to wear it when I'm more in a relaxing mood, maybe Sunday afternoon when I need to wind down and get ready for the week. It's contemplative, it's relaxing, it's great after a shower or bath, and the longevity is average as well as the sillage. Again, this is Je Ne Sais Quoi by Teo Cabanel. Next, I have Herba Fresca from Guerlain, the Aqua Allegoria line. Here we have the notes of lemon, green tea, and mint. This is an incredibly uplifting and great composition. I love to wear this in the morning or on really hot days. It really is refreshing and uplifting and energizing as well. It is light wearing. It's not going to last more than two to three hours. So I tend to overspray as well as spray my clothes. Again, this is Herba Fresca by Guerlain in the Aqua Allegoria line. Next, I have Lost Alice by Mosque Milano. This is inspired by Alice in Wonderland's Tea Party. And the notes here are reminiscent of what you'd find at the tea party. So what you're going to find here is ambrette, a little bit of carrot, some orris to bring about some powderiness like a cake, and then black tea, milk and sandalwood. Those are the predominant notes to me. I would put this in the savory gourmand category and it really rides close to the skin with moderate sillage and moderate longevity. Again, this is Musk Milano's Lost Alice. Next I have Still by Jennifer Lopez. This is a gorgeous tea scent. It opens with bright apple. It has Earl Grey tea, jasmine, freesia, honeysuckle, and amber. It is such a bright and uplifting fragrance. Now, by the notes, you'd think it wouldn't be that long lasting, but I find this fragrance to be incredibly long lasting with a strong sillage. It is just so perfect for any occasion. I wear it doing errands, I wear it to the office, it could work for brunch with the girls, it really could work for any situation. And again, this is Jennifer Lopez's Still. Now we have Wulong Cha by Michonne. This is a unisex scent with incredible longevity. It starts with some citruses up at the top, bergamot and orange, and then moves into oolong tea in the mid. And then you're going to have fig and musk at the base. And the fig here really lends a creamy sort of wearing experience. And the citrus really sits with you almost the entire wearing experience with this fragrance. I tend to get six to eight hours with this. I do overspray slightly, but for this fragrance profile, I think the performance is stellar. Again, this is Wulong Cha by Michonne. Next, we have Guerlain's La Petite Robe Noir EDP. 
This is such a beautiful scent. It has cherry up at the top and then licorice in the mid, as well as tea and rose. And then it also has a little bit of tonka and vanilla and anise in the base. This is such an elegant scent. Moderate projection, moderate longevity, incredibly sophisticated. This is a ladies scent. I absolutely love it. And it might be the reason that I fell in love with licorice and anise notes and perfumery. Again, this is Guerlain's La Petite Robe Next, we have Jeroy's Remember Me. This is a gorgeous lactonic chai latte fragrance. The notes here are cardamom, tea, ginger, frangipan, milk, and vanilla. I think the frangipani here really creates this incredible creamy wearing experience and the cardamom and the ginger are perfectly executed. They're not going to be overwhelming or overly sharp when wearing. I find this fragrance to ride a little bit close to the skin and the longevity is moderate. I would say you're going to get about six hours with this. Again, this is Javoy's Remember Me. Next we have Armani Privé's Blue Lazuli. This is a unisex fragrance. It starts off with some cardamom and bergamot and mate. And the mate here is very earthy in the way that it smells, which really lends to that unisex wearing experience. In the mid, you're going to have plum, tobacco, and honey in the base. It does get a little bit sweeter as you wear it, but I would say the entire wear is a unisex wear. It does ride closer to the skin, but the longevity is around six to eight hours. So you're gonna get a nice wear out of this. The sillage is beautiful. Once again, this is Armani Privé's Blue Lazuli. The next fragrance probably does not need an introduction. This is BDK's Brie Charnel. This has been popular for so many years. So here, in case you're not familiar with it, this is a cardamom fig, black tea, forest, sandalwood, and tonka scent. I think it's unisex. Um, for me, the predominant notes here are the cardamom and the sandalwood and the fig. So it's, it's really a woody experience with cardamom in it. I wear this year round. We're talking summer, fall, spring, and a warmer winter day. The longevity here is eight hours at minimum. Sillage is above average. Again, this is BDK. Grisharnel. Last but not least, we have BDK's Grisharnel Extra. Now, this is my preferred Grisharnel between the two. Some say this leans more masculine. I think it leans more feminine, and I'll tell you why. It is the vanilla in the dry down. I find this wearing experience to be a sweeter overall fragrance. So the differing notes here, the added notes are vanilla, vetiver, and patchouli. And I think they also amped up the tonka in this one. And this lasts 12 hours. It is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is BDK's Grace Charnel Extra. Thank you for joining me today. I'd love to hear in the comments below what your favorite tea fragrances are. Please subscribe if you'd like to continue to see more content like this. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, goodbye.